Okay, thank you for having me here speaking. Uh, my name is Alice Ugi and I'm a PhD student. My supervisor is uh, Michelle Alexander. Um, my uh, project is inserted in a, a broader project, multidisciplinary project, and the aim of my research is to better describe social, economic and demographic changes happen through changes in regimes in Sicily between the 13th and the 16th century AD. In particular, today I'm going to present you the preliminary data uh, of bulk carbon and nitrogen stabilizers of analysis that I've done on humans, animals, and plant remains. But I'm going to present only the humans and animals. So just to give you an historic context, um, uh, we start from the 4th century, uh, when the, uh, Sicily is um, ruled by the Byzantines. And then during the 17th century, Arabs' population starts to raid uh, the island from the western part, so from Mazzara. And then by the 9th century, they um, uh, occupy m mainly all the island. And they are replaced by the Normans. They come down around the 11th, 12th century. And they are a Christian, um, French-speaking population. Um, then the last transition is uh, Norman to Swabian, where the Swabian are a German-speaking Christian population. So I um, try to make sense of the data I have so far. Dividing, uh, dividing them in these three different categories. So Byzantine rule, Islamic rule, and Christian rule. Uh, as some of the speakers have uh, said uh, today, um, one of the important uh, things to take into account to, to say something about agriculture is that um, Sicily, during Roman and Byzantine times, had extensive areas of Latifundia. And the Arab con conquest um, intro introduced new crops and a new irrigation system. And that brought the agriculture to be more productive, the population to grow, and the society changed accordingly. Uh, so Watson um, uh, explained this uh, theory about agricul Arab agricultural revolution uh, claiming that the Arabs introduced new crops to the places they colonized, and many of these crops are C4 plants, uh, the consumption of which can be detected by stable isotopes analysis. So, um, stable isotopes analysis can help clarifying at least the diffusion of these crops uh, in Sicily, analyzing human and animal remains, and as well linking with the archaeobotanic evidences. The broad research questions of my PhD uh, are if, in general, the stable isotopes data can indicate a change in regimes from Byzantine to Swabian, the form of this uh, shift, so how the different food sources um, played a role in the diet of the different populations, uh, if we can clarify the, this agricultural revol uh, revolution, so in terms of agriculture and husbandry practices, and also if these can fit in the description of a Sicilian society uh, with uh, particular features in terms of society, agriculture, and culture. So a brief remind of what is stable isotopes analysis. Um, so they are ba it's basically an ecological tool that allows um, as to have a chemical signatures of the food sources. So here we have different food sources, so like meat, different cereals, and fish. And th these have a particular delta-15 and delta-13C <coughs> signature. That then when, um, uh, during metabolic and uh, other biological processes, they are incorporated into the human body, uh, they go through what we call fractionation, which is an enrichment in the delta-15 um, N values and delta-13C values. And this allowed us to use the collagen as an indication of the prosaic parts of the diets of, of the diet of this individual. While the carbonate, so the mineral part, gives us more um, uh, overall 
indication of diet. Um, so uh, stable isotopes have become in general uh, very um, used in the field of archaeology and because they allow to, us to draw consideration on the society structure and as well clarifying the uh, relationship between the people and uh, say something about agriculture and uh, how the animals were kept. Um, so um, during uh, the first phase of my PhD, I obtained the collagen and uh, value for the delta 13C and delta 15N of humans and animals in order to assess the uh, diet of individuals from different sites uh, and uh, pr presenting different uh, religious background at different periods uh, of the occupation of Sicily. Uh, by the Arabs. So uh, in this slide, I'm showing uh, the results from a previous study from Alexander in 2014. And I think it's, it's important because it shows um, a similar context. In fact, in this study, uh, they study Christian and Muslim population in late medieval Spain uh, between the 13th and the 16th centuries. And this study was able to show statistical differences in the value of values of the delta 13C and delta 15N. And, and so they were able to um, sort of characterize and divide Christian and Muslim population. And um, overall, the Muslim individuals uh, show enriched uh, values both for carbon and for nitrogen. And this was attributed to um, the consumption or C4 crops or uh, animals fed by C4 crops. Uh, so uh, these are the sites that I have samples from uh, at the moment. Uh, in this first year, I extracted um, samples from the northwest and uh, southwest part of the island. Uh, the one in blue are the sites where I have animal samples from. Uh, and I still have to extract and run the samples from the south um, east of the island. That can be uh, very interesting if they show some differences because the area that was colonized more by the Arabs is the northwest part. So in total, I have 152 uh, human samples, and uh, I'm I'm, I have extracted and analyzed 87 of them. Uh, the overall state of preservation was good, with a C2N ratio of 3.1, 3.2, and rate of success for collagen extraction between 96 to 100 percent for every site I've done. And for the animals, um, I have a total of 126 and I've analyzed so far uh, around 60. So these are how the data looks like. The um, cro crocs are the animals and the circles are the humans. Uh, before going into the detail into the groups, I just wanted to uh, outline that I need potentially to have more um, food sources to analyze, in particular uh, fish, and of course to work more uh, on the archaeobotanic part as well because every um, of these circles so c3 c4 uh, fish and freshwater fish may have an impact in the isotopic signature of the humans these are the animals data uh, so i'm presenting here three different sites uh, we have palermo um, Mazzara del Vallo that you just, just saw with uh, uh, Girolamo and uh, Agrigento. Uh, so here you can see that there are differences uh, both in Delta 15N and in Delta 13C. So we may uh, imply that there were differences in husband in, in the animals management at different location. In particular, the values for the pigs have a wide, wide range in delta 15N. So we go from very low delta 15N 
taking uh, Palermo, uh, like around four to around nine um, of these animals. So this may uh, indicate a difference in animal management. So these pigs may be uh, wide or uh, free range pigs, and this one may be more farmed, uh, sort of omnivorous pigs. Um, the animals from Agrigento uh, overall have, uh, compared to the other two, are a little bit more enriched in Delta 15 and so it, it's possible, so it's a theory that maybe they were coastal grazing, but any suggestion is welcome. And then looking in particular at the values for the chickens in Mazzara, um, we, uh, we can see potentially a differences, difference in uh, practice, in husbandry practice between phase one, which is uh, 10th, 11th AD under Islamic rule, to phase two, uh, 13th AD under Christian rule. Um, I received these results when I was back after a break, so I didn't have time to really think about them. Sorry. Uh, this is uh, one of the most interesting thing that I can see, and is the Byzantine rule uh, diet in different locations. So in blue, you see um, individuals from Agrigento, which is in the southwest of the island, and in yellow, Palermo and Trapani. So um, the, po the population in Agrigento, some of the individuals are, um, have show and reach Delta 13C values. Um, and this may be due to different things, to different reasons. One can be uh, the consumption of C4 crops, as we saw uh, for the other population. The problem is, is this is under Byzantine rule, so, and these are Christian um, individuals. Or it can be done, more likely, possibly, to uh, seafood uh, uh, consumption. So this is a comparison uh, between individuals that were found in uh, different burial rites, and you can see that there is no big differences between them, so they are all grouped together. Uh, this is Palermo through time, so at different time, uh, it's, different, it's difficult to um, resolve uh, different groups. And this is a comparison between Compa Contrada Sant'Agata, which is a Byzantine Christian site um, in the countryside. And um, in general, the Delta 15 values for the females individuals are higher than the one for uh, males. And compared to Palermo uh, under Islamic rule, and for Islamic buyer rights, the uh, trend is completely the opposite. So we need to increase the number of samples that we have in order to make more um, safe uh, discussions. So in summary, uh, so far I couldn't see direct evidences of C4 crops uh, during or after Arab conquest, but uh, I want to carry out more um, analysis on that. I have already done uh, carbonates on the Agrigento population, and I'm planning to do compound specific of the amino acid for the animals uh, and the humans at Agrigento. Uh, we can see an enrichment in Delta 13C in the individuals from Agrigento under Byzantine rule, and we want to understand if this is due to a C4 component or a seafood component. Uh, we can see different uh, strategies in animal management at different locations and possibly a shift from the 10th to the 13th century in the um, management of the chicken. We can uh, see that there are differences in management of pigs, so some are wild, free range, and others are omnivorous, so uh, very likely farmed. 
and the uh, animal values for Agrigento are different from the other sites, so they are enriched in Delta 15N, and so we may emphasize uh, coastal grazing for these animals. Thank you.